Annyeonghaseyo, Yarabun. How are your views, Amida? Hey, y'all. I'm Shamra, and I'm here with my girl, Sabrina, and we're How Are Your Views, two Americans who are swept up in the Korean wave as it reaches across the globe. We have a love of all Korean music. We're reacting to Eun Kwan and Hyun Shik at B2B's Melody from the 2024 Weverse Con Festival. You're laughing at me because I mispronounce those names, aren't you? It, it's the B2B medley. What did I say? Melody, which, you know. Oh, Melody, medley, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but yeah, Love the 2024 you. Weverse Con Festival. So I don't know if this is going to get blocked. This is the, like, I haven't seen anyone reacting to it yet, so I have a feeling it's going to get blocked. Um, but I still. We've got to do our B2B. So we do. We were just talking we about how we haven't seen about, yep. any new music from them. And we saw the Yuk Song Jae, but, and then we had um, Hyun Chicks, like prior to that. But have we had anything since? No. I think, I think Eun Kwang had B. I think that's what viewers were at. Like it's on our list to take a look at. It's coming up. But I think that was his last one. But I don't, I remember viewers saying that we were supposed to be getting new music from B2B because that was one of the reasons that Hyun Chik wasn't like doing the um, like marketing circuit or whatever for advertising for his album. I thought that's what viewers had said. So I don't know. Did we miss that? Or I hope we haven't missed an album, I but I, I, no one said anything about it. I haven't seen anything about a new album. Um, it looks like the last album that came out was in 2023. We were looking Wind for just Wish. kind of, yep, Wind and Wish. So if you know anything, let us know. I haven't seen any like new music really coming out for B2B, but as a group, not as a group, as yeah. Work. Okay, well, I'm really excited to take a look at this. All started because we were like, why are there only two members right. performing? Because it's just the two. So let us know if you have any information on that. But let's go ahead. I'm really excited to see which songs they put together for the B2B medley. So yeah, because we were like, none of them are in the military currently. So mm-hmm. that's why we were we were yeah. talking about that. All right, well, let's take a listen. Oh, yeah, like, that threw me off because I thought there was no uh, sound. That guitar is a little off. (laughs) That that guitar sounds really off. I could be wrong, but... Something sounds out of pitch. Yeah.
so much fun. <laughs> See? <laughs> Let's get it on. Hope her name isn't Annie. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. <laughs> power in their voices. I 
definitely used someone like so dressed down and also someone like so dressed up. Final thoughts. I wish that you could have seen all the members. Like, yeah, yeah, it was it really felt, nice to see. The it two was of nice them. seeing the two of them, but it, I would have like it felt odd just seeing the two of them. It felt a little empty to me. Maybe just because I'm so like they're larger than life, and right? so to see like, them like kind of not sedate, but just it was very chill. I mean, Ung Kwang was like moving around the stage, and you know. But it, it just still kind of like we were missing kind of like Sung Jae's energy. Yes. And Peniel's energy. And it just kind of like, I mean. Yes, there was, there was energy there that was missing. It was really, it was really good. Like the performances were really great. I wish that they would have done one more song. But I wish that they would have had maybe even one more member. Maybe to just kind of balance out the harmonies and the melodies. Maybe, because something just didn't sound right to me. And I don't know if it was like that guitar in the beginning sounded really off, but like it, I felt like Hinchik was just spot on. Like I, I really thought that he did an amazing job. And, but he is, I think, my bias in the group vocally. Like I, I do really like his tone. He does have amazing vocals. So I think that I just really enjoyed his performance. Unkwan's smile just didn't I stop. I loved his like, interaction. Energy, yeah. But he had interaction with the group, but it wasn't until the end that he had interaction with. Um, Kinchik, yeah. Kinchik. So That's I thought that was funny. It must be so hard when you're used to performing with a group to only have like what are two members. Like it just, especially if one's a little more, like we see it like with 17, you just have the totally calm, laid back Agreed. members. And then you have the members that are like, whoa, you know, like Hoshi, <laughs> like Hoshi, Sungwon. Like they have like all the energy. And so you have I the other members. I was talking earlier today. <laughs> right. You have the other members like Wu and Woozy and stuff that just tend to be like, the eight like they they kind of just like sit yes. back and they they can oh, they can the step up when like ask questions and all that stuff but they're just not like they're the forced to by yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right but they're es- just their role in the group is just they're the more of the introverts and so i wonder in, in that situation if hyunshik is more of an introvert and mm-hmm. i could be completely wrong and then Ung Kwang is just because he's Ung Kwang is the leader of the group right i believe so i think so and if he's just more of the extrovert like it's it's interesting, kind of. You, I felt those like the difference the, in the energy, the dynamics. So if because mm-hmm. the two that are always instigating were not there, the, so like Sung Jae and Chung Sub, they weren't there. They weren't there at all. And they were just. I feel like Peniel is just kind of always in the middle. He's like, in the middle. He, he just, just kind of thrown you know, in, <laughs> right? It, it, he can be a part of it, or he can also stay off to the side. Like so, I feel like the energy was really missing of the two that are mm-hmm. that are in the middle of the chaos. chaos. That happens. So, that that's that's it. I just we were just watching like some Coachella footage and just like the difference in like the energy from like that festival and then this one. I don't know. Is like the Weverse Con Festival or whatever this is. Like, is it known for being just a little bit more like relaxed? Relaxed. Is it more about like kind of like talking to the audience and less about like the high energy? Or was this just their stage? Why were there only like? I am curious why why there were only two? two. When did When and Wish come out? Was that this year or last year? They haven't like, come out with anything new. Like, as a group, they haven't come out with anything new this year. Where it's all been solo work. Okay. So, um, let us know. know. And if you are fans of B2B or any of the solo members as they are producing, we've done a lot of um, Yuk Sung Jae stuff recently because he had his album um, come out and before that it was Hyun Shik. So if you are fans, make sure that you like and subscribe down below so that you can see all of our content as it comes out. And if you are fans of K-drama, like trying to figure out where missing members are, <laughs> make sure um, to check out How Your Views, where we tell you which dramas to watch, must watch, or completely skip, y'all. Until next time, Anya. Yeah.